What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here and it's Top 10 Thursday. Back in 2006, Sony introduced a revolutionary piece of technology, the PlayStation 3. This was a system that dared to be different, boasting incredible graphics, cutting edge online play, and fantastic exclusives. This console really made a splash. Now, nearly 10 years later, it's basically been retired, but that doesn't stop it from having a huge library of titles that I think everybody should try. This week, we're going to do the impossible and narrow it down to just the best of the best on my list of the top 10 must-play PlayStation 3 games. Number 10. Uncharted 2. Nathan Drake is a man willing to go to the ends of the earth for a nice piece of treasure, and in Uncharted 2, that's exactly what he's got to do. It's rare that a game can actually surprise me, but this game left me stunned many times over. With an opening scene of our hero waking up in a train dangling over the edge of a cliff, a shootout against an army in a Tibetan village being blown apart brick by brick, or insanely climbing in a secret lost city. Uncharted 2 is quite possibly one of the best adventure games ever made. Number 9. South Park The Stick of Truth Humor in video games is a complicated art. You want to make things funny, but not flood the player with constant jokes or else they'll grow bored. Somehow, the geniuses behind South Park managed to make an RPG that's not only fun to play, but seriously leaves tears rolling down your face from laughter. When the kids accidentally get caught up in a war between aliens, Nazi zombies, and some jerky 6th graders, ridiculousness ensues. Just as an example, you can summon Jesus to attack the enemy team with machines guns. Even if you haven't watched the show, this absurd tale is too good to resist. Number 8. God of War 3. The ultimate quest for vengeance. That's essentially what this 10 hour murder spree amounts to. Kratos is completely driven by his mission to kill Zeus, king of all gods, and to hopefully make the world a better place in the process. This of course leads to all sorts of insanely epic fights. During his travels, you must climb from the highest peaks of Mount Olympus to the very depths of the underworld, and no matter where he ends up, everybody wants him dead. I had to add this game to the list just because of its sheer sense of size. The massive boss battles are truly something to behold. I'll never forget crawling up the arm of Kronos, diving down his throat, and slaying the mightiest titan of all from the inside. Number 7. Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Classic turn-based RPGs have become incredibly rare lately. While they still have plenty of fans begging for them, companies don't put them out very much. Thankfully, Nino Kuni is here to create a perfect blend of old school level building fun and modern charm. Our story is centered on a young boy named Oliver who stumbles upon a secret that lets him go back and forth between a land of magic and his rather troubled real life. In this alternate reality, he's a wizard tasked with the hazardous job of rescuing the world from darkness. The people you save and the changes you make affect the real world as well, so bouncing back and forth between dimensions has an odd sense of importance that I really enjoyed. It's like a complex fairy tale with a lot more whimsy thrown in. Number 6. Bioshock a city beneath the ocean where anything is possible. This was the promise made by Andrew Ryan when he formed the Metropolis Rapture. While his objective may have been the betterment of mankind, he instead crafted a nightmarish house of horrors. By the time our character steps onto the elevator that takes him to this ruined town, most of the residents have already gone insane or become something beyond human altogether. Bioshock walks a tough line. It's a first person shooter, but one where the story is the main appeal. When you're not blasting monsters, hacking drones, or upgrading skills, you're being led on a tour of the twisted demons a mine can hide. Having a pile of guns won't make you feel safe from some of the things you have to face inside yourself. Would you kindly play it anyways? Number 5. Portal 2 when it comes to puzzle games, Portal has no equal. 
Each test the evil robot GLaDOS puts you through seems to warp your brain into complicated knots. The real thing that kept me coming back though was the great writing. Most of what we hear for the entire game is old voice recordings from a long dead company. These can detail experiments gone wrong or employees with way too much power, all obsessively fixated on the progress of science. Where Portal 2 really pushed things further than the original was with the introduction of co-op. You now have Double the portals, double the problems, and double the fun. Number 4. Red Dead Redemption Rockstar Games is best known for their Grand Theft Auto series, and yet their fans' favorite side project trades in the shiny cars for the Wild West. In this title, our hero John Marsden has led a complicated life. From time spent as a bank robber, to a bloody war within his gang, and now old age in retirement with his wife and son. He's about to discover that your past has a bad habit of catching up with you. When the government tracks him down, they have but one simple request. Find and murder his old crew, or face prison. Not seeing another way out, he chooses the path of retribution to clear his name. The gameplay here is some of the best of any open world game, and to top it off, when you get done with this, it also has some pretty fantastic zombie DLC. Number 3. Skyrim Often revered as one of the finest RPGs of all time, Elder Scrolls V brings new meaning to the words high fantasy. While this snowy countryside may be beautiful, it's a place of pure turmoil. A civil war is brewing, the dead are literally crawling out of their graves, and ageless dragons from the past have re-emerged. The real awesomeness of Skyrim comes from exploring. With so much chaos abound, you can walk in any direction and find something to do. At one point, I just started going in every cave I saw, and the next thing I know I'm selling my soul to some dark being for armor that makes me into shadows. This game is just full to the brim with quests that are absolutely legendary. Number 2. Grand Theft Auto 5 Here we have a title that somehow manages to combine all the coolest parts of gaming. It has a silly story about small-time criminals trying to make it as big-shot crooks, driving that rivals even some of the top racing games, and shootouts that are genuinely more fun than even some of the most well-designed war games. Los Santos is our own digital playground, inviting us to take the city over ourselves block by block. Grand Theft Auto has always been famous for its depth of map building, but 5 goes beyond anything previously made. When I'm not chasing that next million dollar job, I can enjoy a date, maybe see a movie, or rob a liquor store and fight off the cops for 43 minutes before being killed. If you can dream it, you can do it. Number 1. The Last of Us of all the thousands of games I've played in my life, none has more brilliant storytelling than The Last of Us. Joel and Ellie live in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. After a horrible fungus starts mutating humans into mindless monsters, it's not long before society falls. Now, the few remaining survivors cling to any small comforts they can find. Then, a possible sliver of hope appears. Ellie is immune to the zombie virus. Rumor has it that there's a lab on the other side of America studying a cure, and maybe, just maybe, if they have Ellie's blood, they can use that to synthesize something that could fix this broken world. They decide to travel across this plague-riddled country in an effort to try and find answers, but this journey will push them past their limits. During my playthrough of this game, I laughed, I cried, I was left stunned into silence, but never once did I find myself wanting to put the controller down even for a moment. And for that reason, it wins my pick as the absolute must-play PS3 game. Did your favorite game not make the list? Got an idea for a future top 10? Leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Next week, I'm going to be doing the same thing, but with Xbox 360 games. So if there's something you really love that's made by Microsoft, be sure to tell me about it. Also, I want to confess that I actually had to film this twice. Because the first time, I wasn't wearing my hat. I don't know how I forgot to do that, but I did. Because I'm a goofball.
Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.